Hey guys, this is Jason. Welcome back. Today we wanted to share with you some new products that we have on servocity.com. Uh, beginning with some high quality uh, silicone jacketed wire. This stuff is available in nine different gauges in, in two different colors, as you can see here, giving you 18 different options, all the way from this heavy duty 10 gauge beefy stuff down to 26 gauge light duty wire. Um, this stuff is high quality in terms of its strand count as well as its outer jacket material being silicone. Uh, the silicone can handle up to 200 degrees Celsius, which is crazy, super flexible. Uh, it's very durable stuff. And the high strand count wire inside is high conductivity copper, which is tinned. Uh, this is lovely stuff to work with. This is my go-to when I'm doing projects and we're happy to get this online uh, for you guys to use for your project. Another new addition that you may have seen on the site is this new Arduino compatible board. It's from Palulu and it is the ASAR 32U4 SV. It's a bit of a mouthful, uh, but it's worth it. It's got a lot of cool features baked in. Uh, and as you can tell by looking at it, it is designed to be Arduino Uno Leonardo compatible. Uh, to talk about it a little bit more in detail, I brought a few of our electrical engineers that we have on staff with me today. Uh, we have Luke and Kevin. Uh, guys, what do you like about this board or what's different about it versus kind of your standard Arduino Uno? My favorite feature is the switching regulator that's that's on the board. So you can you can go from 6 to 36 volts on the input. This is great for guys like me who come from an industrial background. So you can use 24, 28 volts, power this thing up and, and still run it as just as you would a, a, on a regular Arduino. Yeah, that's pretty awesome if you're using the LiPos as well. Um, and you have additional <laughs> solder points here to just uh, connect your uh, lead if you want to go about it that way as opposed to the standard barrel jack connector. One of my favorite parts about this board is the ability to break out the power ground and signal lines on it. There are extra ports on every pin to allow you to populate all three power ground and signal. So that say if you want to take a servo, which is in that same order, you can plug it directly into the board. That and com combined with the switching regulator allows you to be able to just plug a servo directly into the board and off you go. I think this board is actually really great for beginners. Um, you can tell that it's designed to uh, plug shields in that are designed for other standard Arduino sizes like this. But beyond that, it has a lot of built-in additional features that make starting getting started with it easier without plugging in additional circuitry or needing additional boards. Uh, for example, it's got a buzzer. Uh, it's got additional LEDs built in. Uh, it's got a variety of push button switches so you can get started and play around with it without really needing anything else uh, to really dip your toes in the water. I also really like the fact that they've got 43 ground access points. That's that's really handy when you start to add on additional things and begin wiring up your project having all those ground access points. One of the other features I'm very thrilled about uh, with this board is its future expandability. You know, once you've had it, learn everything about it, you can continue to add to it. It has headers for an LCD, helping you visualize data. It also has headers for soldering on a, an SD card holder, which allows you to store data for long amounts of time. It's definitely a very powerful board in more ways than one. And those of you that have been fans of the site for a long time will notice that this is the first time we've sold a microcontroller on its own. Uh, so we did take the time to really carefully pick one and curate one that we thought was worthy of the site. Uh, we're excited about it. We're excited to see what you guys do with it. And as always, if you have any questions, shoot us an email to tech at servocity.com.